Hello friends and welcome to Art with Miss P this week. This week's lesson is going to cover a lot of things. Um, I'm going to teach you a little bit about symmetry. There's a video for you so I have it um, attached with this uh, project so make sure you watch the video on symmetry. Symmetry is when your left and right side of an object are exactly the same like in a heart. So if I fold his heart in half, my left and my right side are the same. They're equal. So a heart has symmetry. If you were to cut it in half, the two halves would be the same. A butterfly, if you think of butterfly wings, the left wing and the right wing of a butterfly are exactly the same. So this project is going to be a little bit about symmetry. We're going to talk about positive and negative space. I've put up a video about that too. And I'm going to teach you how to cut a heart out of paper and keep it symmetrical. I chose hearts because it's February and right around the corner is Valentine's Day. So you're probably seeing a lot of hearts, a lot of pinks, and a lot of reds, which is what you need for this project. You need a red piece of construction paper, um, this size right here, like a 12 by 18 size. And then you need two pieces of pink paper. Um, just take a, a piece of 9 by 12 paper and cut it in half. So two pieces of pink paper. And here's what we're going to do with that. So this pink paper right here is 9 by, um, a 9 by 12 cut in half. And you're going to... We're going to cut pink hearts out of this, and then we're going to glue these down so it looks like we have red hearts, and then we're going to glue our pink hearts right here. So it looks like we have four hearts, two pink hearts and two red hearts with a pink background, but we're really only going to cut two hearts out. So on this pink piece of paper. Here's one right here. I've already cut the heart out, so imagine the heart was right here. Um, I've already folded it, and I've already cut the heart out. So this is our negative space right here. So we're going to create a red heart out of this negative space by gluing it down onto a red piece of paper. If I were to hold this heart up to this right here, suddenly my heart looks like it's blue. Um, this is our positive space, our positive heart, and we're going to glue that down. So you're going to cut two hearts out, but really wind up with four. So what you need for this project, guys, is your red piece of paper, your two pieces of pink paper, then your um, scissors, glue stick, and a pencil. And I just want to point out that when you're learning how to draw hearts and cut them out, some of you might get it right the first time, and that's great. Some of you might make a mistake, and you have to do it a second time or even a third time. I've had some students have to do it four or five times before they got it right, and it's not a big deal if you have to do it more than once. Most kindergarten students do. So if you make a mistake, it's not a big deal. Just get another piece of paper and do it again. What matters is, did you finally get it right? That's what matters. Doesn't matter how many times you had to do it. So get your pink paper, your red paper, your pencil, and your glue stick and scissors and meet me over in the studio and we'll, we'll do our positive and negative heart project. Hi again. Um, so friends and parents, I just realized I made a mistake in the intro on something. So instead of re-recording the whole intro again, which frankly I just don't want to do, um, I'm just going to do a little insert correction right here. I inadvertently told you that the pink paper was 9 by 12 cut in half, and that is incorrect. It is actually um, a 12 by 18 piece like this, the same size as your red piece, folded in half, which becomes 12 by 9. Fold that in half, and it becomes 9 by 6. So you're basically um, cutting the, uh, the, the 12 by 18 right in the middle in half vertically and horizontally. That will give you four pieces of a 9 by 6 size. You only need two for this project, but then you got two more in reserve in case you make a mistake. So um, make sure you get two 12 by 18 pieces of paper, one red, one pink, but you do need to cut this the pink sides down um, 
into quarters to get that nine by six size. So uh, just wanna make that quick uh, correction right there so you've got everything right for this project. Hello friends and welcome to Art with Miss P this week. So this week's project is gonna be um, a lot involved in this project. We're gonna work on your cutting skills, your gluing skills, listening and following direction skills, and we're gonna learn about symmetry and we're gonna learn about positive and negative shape. So there is a lot that is gonna go into this project this week. I chose hearts because it is February and Valentine's Day is just around the corner and you're probably seeing a lot of pinks and reds and hearts everywhere. So you're gonna need a red piece of construction paper and you're gonna need two pieces of pink construction paper. And I basically just took a nine by 12 piece of paper and cut it in half. And that's pretty much the size that you will need. You're also gonna need your pencil, your glue stick, um, and a pair of scissors. So make sure you have all of those things. Okay, so your finished project is gonna look like this right here. We're gonna have two red hearts with a pink background and two pink hearts with a red background, but we're only gonna cut two hearts out to get these four. So here's how we're going to do this. All right, you've got your red paper. This is what we're gonna glue everything onto. So we're gonna leave that flat. The object to cutting hearts out is to cut a heart out so that it is symmetrical. Symmetrical means the left and the right side of the heart are exactly equal. And a way to do that is like this. Take your pink paper and fold both pieces in half like this right here. Okay, so when I say on the fold, here's what I mean. This is the fold. Where your paper folds in half, right here is the fold. Not where it comes apart, but right right here on the fold. So it's super important, friends, that you do this on the fold. Now, I'm gonna use a Sharpie so you can see it better. You are gonna use your pencil, so make sure you've got your pencil. All right, so here's our paper, and it's folded. So right here on the fold, not where it, where it comes apart, on the fold. You're gonna draw half a heart like this right here. Now, if you need a quick lesson on drawing half a heart, let me show you real quickly how to draw half a heart. This is not half of a heart. That is half of a circle. A heart is you put your pencil down and you go up first and then come around to a point like that right there. So sometimes it's nice to put two little dots like that and come up from the first dot and then loop all the way around down here to the second dot. So you wanna draw a heart like this, not like this. If you draw this and cut it out, you're just gonna get a circle. It's gonna look kinda of like a leaf. So make sure you get that heart drawn like this. Now we need to double check ourselves. If you did this correctly, when you unfold your paper, you will have half of a heart in the middle of your paper. So make sure it's in the middle. If it's out here on the edge, you did it wrong you'll need to get another piece of pink paper and start over. So make sure you do it on the fold, on the fold, friends. All right, so if you double check yourself and you open it up and you have a half a heart in the middle of your paper like I do right here, you are correct. Fold that paper back. Get your scissors and we are going to cut right along this black line. Now it's super important, friends, always make sure your thumb is on top, it goes in the small hole, thumb on top, and it goes up and down, thumb on top, chop, chop, chop. Then your scissors always face away from your body. You don't wanna turn your hands in like this right here and start cutting back. First of all, it really hurts your wrist. Secondly, you can cut yourself. So always have your scissors facing away. So you're gonna cut right here along this line. Now look what I do. I turn my paper. I am not turning my hand with my scissors in it. I am turning my paper and my scissors are right on my black line and I cut it off just like that. Now some people say this looks like a raindrop. 
and you are correct. It does look like a raindrop. But when I open this up, I should have a heart. And let's see if I do. So I'm going to open it up. Do I have a heart? Oh my goodness. Yes, I do. I have a heart. And it is symmetrical, meaning the left and the right sides are equal. If I open this piece of paper up, guess what I have right here? I have a heart. But is it actually there? It's not, because I can put my hand through it like this. This is called negative space. This is called positive space. So we're going to use these two things, and we're going to make an art, uh, um, <clears throat> an art project out of it. I am going to take this negative heart right here, this negative space, because it's not there, so it's negative. And I am going to put some glue back here on my, the back. So I'm putting some glue on it. And then super duper duper important, guys, we are going to line up our corners. This is a corner right here. This is a corner. So I'm going to line up this corner to that corner and the edge to my edge of my paper right there. And then I'm going to press it down like this right here. So now it looks like I have a red heart, but I don't have a red heart. I have a red piece of paper and my negative space when I paste it down makes it look like I have a red heart. Now this piece I'm going to glue um, in just a second. So hang on to this piece. Now I want you to get your second pink piece. Make sure you're on the fold. Super important that you are on the fold. Draw your half of your heart again. Open it up and check yourself. Make sure half of that heart is in the middle of your paper like this. And then I want you to use your scissors, making sure your, your scissors are facing away from you. Turn your paper as you cut. Stay on that black line. Don't turn the hand with the scissors. Keep that facing away. And you should have a second heart, and I do. And I should have a second heart right here, my ne a second negative heart. And we're gonna glue that right here. So we're gonna line up these two corners together. So I'm gonna put some glue back here. Now friends, you may have to do this more than once to get it right, and that is perfectly okay because for some of you, you're just learning. And the only way to learn is to do it a couple of times. I had some friends in the classroom um, now, I'm lining up my corners right here, guys, so make sure you line up your corners. But I had some friends in the classroom that had to do this four and five times before they finally got it right. And that is okay. It's fine if you get it right the first time. It's fine if you get it right the second time. It's fine if you get it right the fourth or fifth time. What matters is, did you get it right? Doesn't matter how many times. So, I'm going to check my edges. So, if I go around, see, I could pull that up right there. So, I need a little bit more glue right here to glue that edge down. I need, I, put, I can pull that edge up. So I'm checking my edges to make sure I don't need to put any extra glue down. So checking my edges, checking my edges. Oh, I got a little bit more glue right there. Yes, so now we've got our negative space hearts down to make it look like we have two red hearts. You're gonna take these two hearts and you're gonna glue them right here. So I'm gonna glue on this side to cover up my black um, line where it, where it shows right there. So when I turn it over, this heart does not have a black line on it. Same thing with this one. Make sure you get enough glue down on it because you want those edges to be glued down. And there you go, friends. That is your project for this week. Two pink hearts with a red background two red hearts made from our negative space hearts with a pink background. So I hope you enjoy this project and learning how to cut out a symmetrical heart and create artwork out of positive and negative space. Until next time, friends, peace, love, and sparkles from Miss P.